the Ghost Valley, a wilderness area nestled in the heart of the Canadian Rockies in Alberta, complete with 11,000 foot high mountains, glacier carved valleys, alpine meadows, and mountain lakes. It makes for an epic spot, especially in wintertime, to visit the fairly well known and legendary ice fall. Never happens. Need Tim's. Need a good coffee. Need coffee. Usually I just make my own, but today I forgot, so here we are. Anyway, this is probably gonna take a while because there's like 50 people in front of me. Um so yeah.
to the trailhead, guys. Um, just sent the drone up. It's probably seen that. It's really, really beautiful out here. It's a quick little trail, good little fix to get out of the house and do some exploring. It's pretty cool frozen waterfall here. Jeez, the sun is bright. There we go. How's that? A little bit better. Oh my, I'm glowing. Okay, well anyways, we're gonna start this trail all the way down here. Gonna run about 25 PSI there today. Um, doesn't look too bad, staring at the entrance here, but uh, we'll see what happens. We might have to go down to 15 or something. We'll see. I uh, got the winch, got the controller for the winch, got everything we probably need, traction boards and everything, just in case, you never know. But uh, yeah, let's see how this works. trail is pretty good um, it's gonna get really bumpy here here let me just take this off of here yeah so far the trail is pretty good um, trying to climb the freaking hill here big trappers hill it's pretty bumpy though really really bumpy out probably doesn't look that bumpy from the drones point of view I'm just happy it works holy moly <laughs> oh I made it up just in four high right now, just cruising along, running to some guys that are out here camping, some tents, with a wood stove. We're having a blast. Um, yeah, I know it's, it's pretty beautiful out here. Uh, it's warmed up a little bit, it's only minus three right now. Um, I'm gonna try to get to the falls before the sun sets so we can send the drone up again and get some, some better shots. But uh, yeah, we're just cooking along, doing about 70k an hour, flying down this trail, like I normally do when I'm on my own. It's a lot of fun. It's, it's fun. This, this trail's fun when you just fly down it. Uh, you, wanna, you don't have a big group that you gotta wait for. But uh, yeah, hope you guys are enjoying the scenery, because I'm having a blast. Holy cow! This, this is a lot of fun. This, this is what I like to do. High speed off-roading. That's what I like to call it. I ski. Not quite Baja. Well, Canadian Baja with the snow instead of sand. But yeah. Enjoy!
to the probably the uh, the most sketchiest part of this trail and that's the big hill um, this hill gets super super icy like it's nuts I've seen vehicles go up and then halfway and then slide back down spinning around it like gets it's been nuts so thank goodness we got hill descent control on this thing we're gonna use that for sure uh, just to be on the safe side don't feel like damaging this thing today so we're gonna do that it's crazy uh, it's pretty steep um, it's about a I want to say about an 80, 19 to 20 degree angle, maybe 25 in some spots. Um, that's that's pretty nuts. Um, you know, the, it's, the sun's just going down. It's just going behind the mountain peak. So I'm going to hammer down after this and uh, uh, through the valley, get to the falls. slide coming down i guess going up is going to be a different story so we're gonna to have to see but the sun's really starting to go down now uh, i don't know if you guys can tell it still looks pretty bright in the camera but the sun's going down pretty quick we're about 10 minutes from the falls jeez we're bumping around like crazy though we're just we're flying again um yeah it's a pretty really beautiful spot here um yeah, so I guess I'll talk to you guys once we get there because I really want to get there before the sun goes down. Um, trail's in decent shape though. Trail's awesome. Um, not very deep snow. Um, pretty just normal. Stock friendly right now at least. Um, you know, just working 4x4. Four four. That's all you need. Maybe a winch if you're coming out here alone just in case you slide off and... Uh, end up in the trees but here we are we're just bombing across the riverbed uh, i got a couple water crossings to go across we're almost there we're almost there i can see it it's just around the oh my goodness it's a big hole jeez <laughs> right on okay i'm going to concentrate on driving here um you guys enjoy the scenery how about that okay bye bye
this section of river can get really, really treacherous at times. I remember last year uh, when I was in here in my old Jeep, I couldn't get out. I had to get winched out. The ice ledge that we were trying to climb up was way, way too steep. A lot of us in that group that day got stuck in the river. It was quite the recovery process to get everyone out of there. There was about 15 of us, so this trail is no joke when it's uh, bad conditions. The valley gets really cold at night, even in summertime, and in combination with having sub-zero temperatures and no cell phone service, and your vehicle about to get hydrolocked by being stuck in the river, it's a pretty messy situation. It can go very sideways very fast. We made it and like with just enough daylight left <laughs> these are just beautiful so beautiful love coming out here miss coming out here I haven't been out here for quite a while but uh, yeah pretty cool little hidden thing in uh, that you can come visit gonna be a lot more cool videos coming this year um, soon to have this thing up on 40s that's gonna be sick uh, long travel suspension, all that jazz. It's going to be pretty, pretty cool. Um, shout out to the guys at Big Four Motors. They're going to be helping me out with this whole build. So we're just going to head home now. Um, and uh, it, it's getting cold. I want to be out here in the dark. I have pod lights on this thing. I do have pod lights, but I don't have them wired up yet because I'm still waiting on my switch panel to show up. Um, that's going to take a while for those to show up. Got to find my gimbal for my phone again. I don't know what I did with that. Lost that. Otherwise it wouldn't be so shaky. Those Amazon headlight bulbs are doing pretty good. Not going to lie. Take a second and talk about, uh, the sponsor of this channel. Who's, uh, you know, they have helped me through everything I've done with the last Jeep. And this one too. Huge shout out to the whole team at Big Four Motors. Um, we're working on something for you guys. It's going to be a website where everyone that follows True North X and is part of Calgary Off-Road Experience as well um, can go into this little website, put in their information, uh, get a little card, and uh, get 20% off parts, service, labor uh, from Big Four Motors. So that's a big bonus for you guys. You guys better take advantage of it when it comes out. So stay tuned, watch my Instagram uh, or my Facebook and all that stuff for when that comes out. Um, not sure when, still going through some technical stuff with it, so I just thought I'd stop here at this old little fishing dam here on the trail. Um, kind of sad it got kind of destroyed here by the wildfires that happened a couple summers ago. Um, really cool little abandoned little piece of history here. Make sure you guys take advantage of that, and again, thanks to Big Four Motors for all their help and support for the channel. Um, that's pretty much it guys for this video. Like, subscribe, and uh, maybe we'll see you guys in the next one. I hear there's a abandoned cabin that we need to probably go find. Maybe some mines in BC too. We'll see. Vacation time's coming up here soon. Maybe. Maybe.
So it'll be a really, really good few days of exploring. Can't wait. So stay tuned. I'll try to post more videos. Um, yeah, this is only the start of the journey. So stay tuned, guys. Well, it's time to go home. Made it out to the trailhead again. Just gonna use some snow, clean off these headlights so I can see, because now it's getting dark. But uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, yeah, that, that's enough. You know what? See you guys on the next video. I gotta clean these headlights.